Ladies and gentlemen, w uh, welcome to stream. I'm Cypher Casual, and this is the second part to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. To anyone watching this on, on Twitch, I apologize. Normally I start around 10, but a bit of some technical issues 20 minutes ago, so. <laughs> but we're starting just a little late. Not that that should be too much of a problem. Uh, and for anyone watching this on YouTube, uh, which I'll probably post it later, um, hope y'all enjoy. So, let's just get right into it. We left off last time with entering the first dungeon of the game, which is, of course, Dragon Rose Cavern. So, let's do it. Oh yeah, and I got my uh, face cam working, so that's nice. Let's see if it came out alright. Alright. Just fix this so I'm... There we go. Maybe just a... There we go. <laughs> Alright. Enough awkward, um... Technical stuff. Let's get into it. So, this is the first dungeon of the room, since you know... Pots. Ugh. It sucks, all this text stuff happens right as I'm start, like, pre prepping for the stream, so it's like, really? You choose now to start acting up? But you know what? Whatever. It's all good. Alright. I spy with my little eyes to dead, dead Boba Blanks. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's First, in almost every dungeon game, you'll come across these things, which are warp jars. Yeah. Of course, they're essentially useless right now. So, excuse me. All right, so we got two empty torches. Well, Self-explanatory. Pick up one of the sticks. Set on fire like this. Magic. Nice. We got ourselves the chest, which can take a while, guys, and assume it's the small key. Yep. We got a small key, can open locked doors. Surprising. Yep, first dungeon in the game is a fire themed dungeon. You know, aren't we lucky? Not really, but. <laughs> Alright, um. I like breaking things for money. Alright, door's locked so you can't go here. Shut it over here. Yep! Pull this out. To climb. Oh, oh crap. Fire. No way to crop. That's where these things come in. As you can see, there's, well, water on them, so let's just... Oh, what do we 
got what do we got in here? All right, the dungeon map. And unlike the one of Forsaken Fortress, I think this one needs to be accessible. All right, a four-story dungeon. I think the boss is on the fourth floor. Right? I made a mistake in the past of thinking I can make it, so. This mainly just serves as an introduction of how to use these little water jars, so. Oh, crap. God, I got that in time. And that is another red shoot out of my collection. Alright, on to the next. Oh! Oh, and I disarmed it. Alright. Okay, so... The regular sort can't break these uh, wooden barriers, but... Uh, the enemy, the Boca Blooms River can, so just go right there and take care of that. that sword. Carry this in so I can, uh... Yeah. Nice. Another small key. There's a locked door nearby. Crap ton of these. Curious many. Oh. Thirteen of them. Perfect. Okay. Um. Got ourselves a bone on the wall, of course. So how do we hit them? Well, use these pots, of course. Priest back over here. So, Actually, no, we just need to set on fire. Yeah. yeah, like that. And with that, we can progress. And now we're outside. Alright. So out here, you know. This guy's just waiting for a chance to just, you know, straight up just drop me, so... Let's see. Let's go Boom. Jump attack fire wouldn't really help us here, but... Whatever. Oh, the door pin fell. Yeah, oh, whatever. I also realized I kind of... I feel like I should have done that uh, killer bee side quest in the fall um, last episode, but 
I'll get back to it after I finish the, uh, all these guys. Uh, these the bird gets first attack. But... That is a golden feather. It's been so long since I played this. I only remember like what the, I think the joy pennants do, and one other thing. Like, one of them's for like, one of the game's secret attacks, which, for spoiler reasons, I'll save that later. All right, self-explanatory. Just you know, you know, don't go try sliding while you know. Through the water, didn't even fall like and you know, drown or anything. Just I think something was missing there. Oh shoot! Can't exactly. I'm not going. I'm like, maybe I'm not going the right way or something like that. Area. 
Oh, is there um I don't think I can go that way. Um actually I don't think I can go. Is there any place I missed? There's got that's gotta be something I there's really got a path I missed or something like that. This is where I came out of. Um, it's not there. It goes from there to there, so... So clearly I was going on the right, on the right way. Oh, by the way, if you're thinking this is gonna be one of those official, like, walkthrough things, this is more of a let's play, which means you're gonna see a lot of errors.
wait a minute. Am I supposed to use this? I don't think so, because... No. No, it wouldn't be that. Oh, man. What am I missing? I'll bet it's something simple, and I'm just, you know, not seeing it. Okay, this makes sense. Oh, I feel like an idiot. You have to basically be hanging on. Oh, and I just spent I just spent like 10 to 15 minutes going, oh, wait a minute, oh, I knew. Alright. So now I can climb up. Let's see, how long did that take me? Huh. 20 minutes in. It didn't take me as long. And there's the door. Yep. Oh, so it's stuck my fell. Alright, now we're going the right direction. Alright. It's not for that brain part. Okay. Next we got to. Oh, please yeah. use green uh, flight yeah. stairs. Yeah. All right, here. Treasure. It's actually, um, funny. I was actually getting ready to explain that. So, so if you ever see, so if you go to like a rat hole like here and just kind of, it's the rats. Red potion. All right, red potion. This basically heals your health. Kind of a nice little like. Um, I cannot talk today. Um, you still have to pay rupees for it, but it's like a nice little like rest area. Uh, oh, cool chest. It's probably the compass or something. Yep, called it. So, this space reveals where all the chests are. Oh, it's on the third floor, not the fourth. Oh, 
Alright, this door's locked, which means we need to find another way of near the boss. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, is there a stick right there? Alright, now we just throw. And there's a torch right there. So get another try. Yeah. Yep, just like that. Now I'm just gonna take a while to guess it. In that chest is a small key. I also realize I don't want to end up using my items by accident, so let's go ahead and uh... Up here. Up here, your step. Yes. But since it's dark in here, I guess we use a torch. Basically what this does is it'll teleport you back to the beginning. Just figured I'd show what that is. That's useful in case, you know, you have to start over or come back to this later. It's kinda like a little checkpoint. Alright. 
here and yeah. Ooh, a treasure chart. So, later in the game, as you're on the sea, you'll find, you know, glowing spots in the um, ocean. They'll either be like little circles or like these beams of light that shoot up. They kind of vanish to get closer to them, so you have to just you know, go by your hearing. But those, the treasure chests will basically make the, um, the real important ones you know, show up. Okay, door's locked, so we need to find another way there. Oh, it's probably kill the enemy. Oh, there's more of them. Water jar should hurt them, so. Okay, well, that happened. Third and final warp jar. You'll almost always see. You'll pretty much always see one 
in the room right before the boss room, so... That's good, just in case you need to save before the boss. Uh, need to go here instead. afterwards if the board the stairs like collapse or something so alright these guys remember from the first time we this Tra <laughs> it translates to the boss of this dungeon is is doing what bosses do to the tail. I don't know. Alright, let's uh I'm lose tail and down the right below here. There's gotta be something in there. One of those mean monsters is definitely something in there. The grappling hook. Oh, this is a good, this is a good item. So. So, basically, whenever this is like this, or not symbols, um, these little hooks in the wall, just to equip your like, like this. You can also use it as a tag, like a whip or whatever, but just line it up, and like so. Compass, the item from the dungeon. Yep, there's a door over here. So. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Sarah almost fell. I believe you can also like, reposition yourself as if you were climbing on the rope, so. Alright. And here we have. Last push. Oh, 
Alright. We're gonna have to jump down. So, unfortunately, the only way we can do this is, is break the bridge, so... That's always so anxiety-inducing. Self-explanatory, but basically, it was uh, special. I mean, I guess that works. It doesn't. It's not how we did this. All right. Yep. All right. Let's try this again. means I have to kill it. Or not, I have to kill it. Oh, so. Cool. As you can tell from the fancy design on this chest, this most likely contains the boss.
Oh, oh, I turned my back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's gonna make me go all the way back to the beginning of the room. Alright, no worries. stick and wait wait I'm gonna double shot just a bit this has been a tutorial of how to do a use the grappling hook Those cases where it's like you knew you I was gonna you were gonna fall and, or I was gonna fall and it's Bridge out, we have to find another way of getting over there. Good news is there's a lot of to the finale of this dungeon, which is get in here without Yeah, I'm 
let's open the chest. See what we got. Let's open the chest now. Yeah, your yellow ruby. Of course, I got the max amount, so you know. What's in here? A knight's crest. So, if you get a bunch of these, th these are helpful for later if you want to unlock a certain sword skill. Alright, we can just... Fairy in a bottle. Perfect for boss fights. So, you know. I'm gonna... Since I don't want to waste it. It's, uh... That way I don't accidentally use anything. Yeah. Alright. Well, when you're ready, I would definitely say beforehand, <clears throat> in case, you know, you die or whatever, you have to go somewhere. Of course, you know, if you have all the warp jars active, you can just teleport over here, so. When you're ready, just hit A and let's begin. forward. And the first boss fight is just about to start, I think. No, no I think I know. Alright, so... Oh, shit, that thing is huge. No, not really. This one big fire. This thing is, uh, Goma. Actually, Let's get a picture of this thing. Oh! Don't get the sound fire. Yep. You gotta latch onto the tail here. It's like, wait, what was that? You land on the ledges that helps. First thing I'll be like, ow. Crack the skull. There we go. Oh, so that was that one sucked really bad. He's a mega me so angry. <laughs> That's not that. There we go. Third time I'm gonna do it. If I fall to the 
fire, I swear. Well, at least it's still the damage. Every time she do it. Uh oh. Somebody's not happy here. And we'll look up. And there he goes. Much harder than I remember. <laughs> Alright, let's get the heart container. Which, well, it's obvious. I'll just give me an extra heart. So, you know. Yep. Alright. Gonna... Once your business is done here, you can't exactly leave the boss room except for here, so you know. It's gonna go from here. That's just a buddy of mine, I will go back and just put it down here. And just like that, I'm safely outside. Turns out you did manage to calm the dragon down. <laughs> And here he's sitting there like, yeah, right, you know, you can calm a dragon out. It's like, but, but that's exactly what I did. Now, take the dragon ball. Give me anything I've any of those the courage to Yeah, because that's how it works. Alright, Din's Pearl. So... The Great Baloo is grateful to you. And I don't speak, um, Hylian, so I have no idea what he just said. Use the Wind Gods- Oh! That's what he said, I don't understand what it means. Wind Gods, I wonder if he's talking about that. The good news is, I don't have to do that because I already did that before, so... He takes care of that. Yeah, you do that. Thanks. He's now useful to us. He's no longer sitting there going, everything sucks. Well, I mean, the thing I'm supposed to do, I already did, so I mean, guess I'm done here. Go ahead and talk to the King Red Lions. See him again sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean there is no time for the most departments for the place where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. Nice. I cannot get in the boat. Let me on. Hey. Unfortunately, we cannot depart until the wind blows to the south. Oh, okay. There are legends that tell of a wind god who once resided in the side. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh.
say, was a Keto ship around here? Oh, it's just conveniently moving away. Like, no. No, you can't. South. Okay. Oh, I will get Oh, crap, it's a tough one. Oh, no, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> I mean, you'd be freaked out too if a fish started talking to you. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of the Sea of Island. That's basically why I got that all-purpose bait earlier. It can also be used to, you know, talk to friends. So, let's just go. We're going south, we are. Fire Mountain. You see that volcano there? It's moving a lot of work. What he's basically saying is good luck.
So when you see these little floating rings, you want to get close to them as much as possible. Equip your grappling hook, which do this, and hold X. Free treasure. Now since one little yellow ring is present like that. Soon, too soon for us to go. Oh, okay. Never mind. It kind of sucks that it just kind of makes you go in like a particular direction, but whatever. But that's one of the fairy islands, I think. But no, it's oh, we can't go there yet. a lot of tornadoes. Mark this island. <laughs> Give me your sea chart. <laughs> this is the Eastern Triangle. There's nothing you can't really go to this island yet. I mean I guess you could if you want to, but there's nothing really going on here, so. But you know what? While we're here, let's stock up on some all-purpose bait. It never hurts to have as much of anything. Oh, no, I don't want that. Let's get a... What's up here? Oh, it's the, uh... It's the island. It's... It's an island. Okay. 
this is the bomb island. Hmm. Kinda sus. <laughs> Should come back here when you know. Oh crap, wrong button. <laughs> oh, I just wasted it. No. Um, submarines? I think it is. Every now and then you'll come across. Well, I just said submarines. So, just line yourself up like this and expect some enemies inside, obviously, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Are you gonna make me kill the rats too, or? Nice. Oh. Oh. Say, I saw that first. Let's get that chest. I got an empty bottle. Nice. Now, if you kill the rats, I can get the other item too. I think I can probably kill the grappling hook. Oh yeah, they're capable of stealing. Yeah. Kill them all, that should. I guess not do anything. <laughs> guess there's nothing there. Oh well. Sometimes when you kill enemies, they're like lured in a ladder or whatever, so. Free to like get free. Alright. There's a watchtower here, and then it's on to our destination. Uh oh. This one's got. Up the ladder we go. Cool, it's daytime. Oh, they're 
mudah-mudahan on group because I do get a joy pen uh, joy pen damn I cannot talk today I swear <laughs> alright I guess nations have been added so That is where you must go. The forest haven. Oh. Uh, probably my favorite track in the game. The great Deku Tree. To speak with the great Deku Tree, you see from them the sacred gem that is far as well. Fear that Gans and I will may have already reached this most sacred of. And, uh, I'll say, I don't yeah. think you can. Oh, I guess you can. Let's go ahead and, uh. Let's place first, so. Tedious and me, tedious and me sound. Just want to get out of the way, so there's one less thing for me to worry about. Oh, I think they're talking about the, uh... I'll show you, let's do that island there. Okay. Yeah. As we enter, we need a new item. These are decent items. So... Stick, but they do drop. Oh. Oh, this is it. This is a Boku Baba speed. Boku Baba seed. They are not kidding about these things. Um, definitely one of the most underrated items in the game. Actually, I probably came before. Um... Stop. Explanatory, we probably don't want to have it, mainly because, well, kind of. Which I think it's fine. Oh, 
this mission too. Metal seat there. So I'm gonna find a way to get up over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's another to the interior force station. Okay. And that's a choo choo. Those are also choo choos. Alright. Yep, you gotta kill these guys. I think they can be. Green chew jelly. And with those things dead, this thing goes on. Hmm? It's like, what did you just say? Oh no, please don't tell me I have to go around collecting these guys. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Spirits of the forest. It's upon a time for us to find the forms when they came to live on the sea, they took on these shapes. So basically, the Kokiri. That's the one thing I don't get. I don't know how they went from, you know, being random kids who live in the woods to, uh, tree people. I don't know. This poem has been delayed. The same is not complete soon. An ill fake befall us. So let me begin. Are you ready, my children? In the car. No, not the car. <laughs> Those woods, the whole region is a final place that's home to the beasts. 
It now it seems they have taken a child from the forest from the car. The presence here is a ghost. Is a ghost here. Nigo Reliance likely expects great deeds of you and is why you're right here. I'm sorry to ask you this, but Nigo rescued you from the car from me. Ah! You're going to be the You cannot fly from the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, Trina. It's not possible. It's not possible. Nigo used the other hand. My chump is still upon you to fly from the sky. Try not to hurt yourself. <laughs> I believe this is where. Oh, this is um, this is where the Bob the Baba seeds can be used from. Uh, I need to get. I think I need to leave first. I'll come back here in just a bit. It's funny as it shares the same music as the potion shop in Windfall. So, you know these things and just position yourself like you're so. It's just kind of fun. You're so good. This is the Deku Leaf, set to use with... This thing lets you float, basically. It can also be used as a fan, but... Yeah, pretty much. And it gives you a green magic bar. I'm doing another strip, by the way. Should we have some time to spare? Actually. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, that's okay. See. As clumsy as it was, now that I got a magic bar, I should be able to enter here and talk to this guy. Only have many. Okay, so. Step on one more time. All right. Next to him. Oh, it's four of them. All right. Um, I should have plenty of them by the time I finish the next dungeon. So, let's see. Uh, there's the wrong button by accident. All right. Let's go ahead and just climb back up. Consuming. <laughs> I 
So the first so as I'm climbing up, I guess I'll just yeah. talk about this next area the Forbidden Woods. So the Forbidden Woods basically is the second dungeon of the game. It is dungeon itself isn't too hard. Yeah. Wherever it's the um getting to that dungeon that's more of a problem. So let's this. I'm gonna jump and press X as you jump. So also start from the stuff. Alright. This is where you're gonna have to this is the hard part of this second dungeon. Getting into it. So, you got these little wind things. So, before you do anything, you need to make sure the wind is facing the direction you want it to. So, we need to go over here, so. This is probably one of my most least favorite parts of the game, because if you get this wrong... Because if you fall, you have to basically start at the beginning of the island. Okay. Let's Requiem again. Let's uh, wait for that gust of wind to come on over here. Any day, pal. This where this dungeon is like the most tedious to enter. Oh! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! This is why I hate this dungeon. <laughs> is a pain to enter this place, so... Just enter the tornado, like so, and pray, pray you don't run out of magic, or run into these guys. Ah, neat. that, this leads us into the second dungeon of the game, which is the Forbidden Woods. How much time do we have left here? A minute and 37 seconds? We actually might have time to, to venture out here. So, so it's time to use the Deck Loop's other function, which is this. It doesn't really do
so the Forbidden Woods is a very weird dungeon. It's not that it's like super difficult, it's just really confusing. So you take those little nut things. So, I'm just going to take a while, I guess this is the dungeon map. Yep. I think there's at least a couple of rooms in or whatever, but... Okay. Let's just go ahead and get right to it. Realize that the uh, also heals. Yeah. 
These are pretty nice. Reach the different shows. It's gonna bother me if I just keep seeing them. Like that. Yep. Basically, use the force of winds here and pick up this. No, and I fell. For some reason, I thought that he would, you know. Which we'll call it. Can't talk. You know, be affected. All right. Try now. There we go. There we go. These things don't open locked doors. things can't kill you, but they can't slow you down, so. 
there's a chest up there, so. A rupee. Kind of sucks that I'm getting all like the treasures with the rupees and I'm like got my max limit. Okay. Right. Here. It is. Oh. And that is why you don't run into these things. Just like this, just kind of walk slowly. Nice little maze. You know what's probably in there? Small key. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have to use the deco leaves as like a... Well, there's nothing else in here. The game wanted me to get the chest. Alright. Over here. 
Got, we can yep. proceed the next area. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right, we got some poisonous water here, so. Oh, <laughs> 
Has everything in this room, so yeah. Huh? Alright, cool. This gives us a chance to play with the boomerang we just got. So that should be fun. Anything happening, no. Nothing? Okay. Alright. 
Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot to hit fly. Alright. I'm gonna have to nap. Head back over there. Ah, uh, sucks. Get back up. I'm so thankful that these things come equipped with an automatic, uh, which one is it? Oh, no, that was the main boss room. Oh, oh no, who cares? There are, like, a... the one with the, uh... I've already been here. Alright, let's redirect me to go to the bottom, I think. Hold on, what's over here? I got now. Let's uh, take a look. Oh, I got 17 of them. Nice. Okay, so this is obviously the boss room. And since we don't have the boss key. Got the distance to be quick. Alright. I was honestly gonna wait till we got to the blue um warp jar, but this works too, I guess. Where are they? But you know what? 
it's not a good deal. Um, I continue on, but honestly, I did say right the stuff will take out to the um, first uh, one, so. So, yeah, that pretty much will do it for tonight, unfortunately. Um. On, fr on Friday, I believe it is, we will conclude the Forbidden Woods and hopefully get the next pearl or whatever. So, um, if you hope you all enjoyed. You know, like, subscribe. You know, once this goes on YouTube and follow stuff like that. And that's all I really got to say. So I'll catch you all later. So um, good night, everybody.